For this part of practical, we'll be basically taking an image of a device. Uh, I have a pen drive connected to my machine, and the pen drive is around uh, around two GB in size. So the aim of this practical is to make an image, and uh, we are going to make a forensic image using the Access Database FTK Imager. When you start the software, this is the basic interface which it looks like. If you go to a file menu, there's an option called as create disk image. When I click on create disk image, I have different options for the source type. If I select a physical drive is if I'm having a hard drive, the physical drive will allow me to image the entire hard drive. Whereas if for example if my physical if my hard disk is having partition C and D and if I only want to image the C drive or a D drive then to image those partitions I need to select logical drive if I select logical drive right now it will show me the different, different partitions mentioned over here if I just select physical drive and click next it will show me the breakdown of it so I am just selecting my uh, trans and 2GB pen drive and clicking on finish when I click on finish it will now ask me where do I want to dump the image file of it so I knew you need to click on the add button when you click on add button it gives you different image types raw type or dd or unix style dd type is an op it's one format that works in a lot of different a lot of different forensic software for example i can create a raw based dd image in ftk imager and i can import that same image into another software like maybe like a topsy or, or like prodisc or basic uh, AFF is the advanced forensic format uh, when I'm selecting the raw format there is no option to do any sort of compression if I click on next and give it a number suppose zero one and I click next you will see that the option to enable compression types is grayed out over here whereas if I select something like AFF AFF has allows me to select the option where uh, zero is none. One is the fastest compression, where till and uh, nine is the smallest compression. E zero one is the N case based format. So currently I'm just selecting the raw DD format. I'm clicking next. I'm giving it a case number. Zamna will be nine am. I want to dump this image lesson on my desktop I want to create an image folder images and in that I want to keep it an image like USB pen drive to GB uh, the image fragment size specifies into how many uh, chunks should the image be broken up to for example if I was doing a backup of maybe like for creating forensic image of a 16 GB pen drive and maybe you have to transfer the forensic image onto a DVD or something then here I could specify the image fragments as 4500 MB that is equal to 4.5 GB let's say I'm keeping it as 2100 MB if you need to make sure to verify images after they are created as tick mark what this basically will do is uh, it will create uh, it'll do hashing on top of the image and it'll also do hashing on top of the uh, f physical source and then it'll try to compare the hashes when it when the of the image as well as the physical source to, my, to make sure that the original media and the forensic image are both similar pre calculated progress statistics will tell you the time to create the forensic image Normally, the time to create the forensic image is proportional to the size of the source device. For example, if my pen drive which I've connected is 2 GB, then the, appro the appropriate time to create the image would be somewhere around between around 2 to 5 minutes. When I click on start, it will start creating the forensic image. the speed is also dependent upon the type of pen drive which you are using the speed of your computer 
Um, if you're using a very slow pen drive, it's going to take a lot of time for the image to be created. If I use the current pen drive which I have connected is around a 3 or 4 year old type of pen drive. If you're having a newer pen drive or like a USB 3.0 type of pen drive, it's going to take a lot less time for the image to be created. I shall let the image be created and get back to you once the image creation has been done. Alright, so after the entire image has been created, it will give you the image result screen where I can see what is the name of the image, how many sectors were there, what is the computed hash, what is the reported hash, whether it is matching or not, and tell you if any bad sectors are found. When I close this and I close this further on over there, I can see that it has taken around 22 minutes. Uh, the basically, I've I've been creating this USB image from an older pen drive, and uh, I'm running the entire XP uh, interface, XP operating system inside of a virtual machine. If I click on image summary, it will give me the entire image summary of it, where I can see that where is the image sold, what is the interface, what is the time image information and stuff. If I want, I can import this image over here by going to add evidence item, selecting image file and browsing for the image file. And this is the entire image file over there another part is practical is creating an image of your memory so to create an image or to capture memory you need to go to file menu select the capture memory option uh, destination part I'll keep the same thing as my images folder and I'll give it a mem dump you want if you want you can create an ad1 file which is basically uh, a, a file that wraps around the memdom.mem file if you include the page file option it also it will also try capturing your virtual memory I can even import the memdom file, I can view the memdom file over here. If I keep on scrolling, I'll have a lot of content in the memdom file. And you can, similarly, you can perform different analysis on top of this file over here. 